Fruits and vegetables are packed with antioxidants like carotenoids and flavonoids. And flavonoids possess antiviral capabilities. They can also stimulate the activities of certain immune cells, including T cells, which are responsible for defending our body against invading pathogens. Increasing our intake of foods packed with carotenoids can also boost immune health, as well as T cells, because this antioxidant protects cells from oxidative damage, enhances T cell responses, and boosts killer T cell functioning. In this study, the cruciferous family of vegetables, kale, collards, cabbage, broccoli, etc., were found to be some of the most powerful foods when it comes to strengthening our immune system. However, what happens when you are already dealing with an overactive immune system? For example, in autoimmune diseases, where you have immune system overactivity and your body starts attacking and damaging its own tissues. Will a plant-based diet cause even more overactivity of the immune system and therefore make autoimmune diseases worse? Well, let's hear as Dr. Michael Greger answers this question. There's been this theoretical concern that, wait a second, if just adding a few fruits and vegetables to your diet can so boost your immune system, right, that's great if we're trying to prevent infections, but there are diseases caused by an overactive immune system, inflammatory diseases like asthma, seasonal allergies, and then these autoimmune systems where your body actually attacks itself, like MS, like Crohn's disease, like lupus. And so when these diets were put to the test, that was something in the back of people's minds. But what they found was that actually you get the best of both worlds. And so, for example, Crohn's disease, which is an inflammatory bowel disease and uh, autoimmune disease, the best treatment ever devised by man so far, better than any medication that's ever been tried, is a study out of Japan with a plant-based diet. So two-year relapse-free rate of 90%. Um, after two years, something that we don't see um, in this kind of patient population. So um, it had the best of both worlds where it calmed down the inflammation at the same time and the same thing with multiple sclerosis. So Dr. Swank, Dr. Roy Swank, this famous neurologist, have videos about the so-called Swank diet, um, which was a plant-based diet, is the most effective treatment ever discovered in modern medicine. No drug can do what Dr. Swink did, he followed people out for decades. So he has like a 34 year follow up and could show something that no other um, intervention could do. Now, if people strayed from the diet, then all of a sudden the disease could come raging bad. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe for more upcoming videos.